making amulets and talismans. Much depends on what exactly we put into the word master. It's one thing if we mean by the word master, a craftsman who simply creates jewelry with his own hands. It's another thing if we're talking about masters who create magical artifacts, talismans, and amulets. The items made by a master will have a much more powerful effect for a very simple reason. Every master works on the channel. And it is not about his ability to create items, to cast a spell and put it into some talisman or amulet. It's about the fact that he's more able than you to conduct force and information through the channel that he is working on. That is why he is called a master. His items, talismans, amulets, and artifacts are universal and absolutely suitable for everyone to use. The items you will make without proper experience can also have enough power. In any case, I will teach you how to make talismans and amulets by being on the channel. But you must be on this channel all the time to become a master at creating magical artifacts. Besides, nothing but this channel should pass through your consciousness. You become its hands, its eyes, and its method. That is, you become its instrument. As a matter of fact, this is the way a real master works. The power of a particular deity pumps energy through a master, information is transmitted through his hands, eyes, lips. He locks that information up in the item and creates an artifact that is universal in nature. If you make an item for yourself or your family using your blood, your spells, and incantations, it will only work for you. This item won't be universal. The duration of its life, the duration of its effect will depend on the power and strength of the informational current that you are able to conduct with your consciousness at that moment. Did I make myself clear? The item you've made can work, but not for a long time. And that is the only thing that makes it different from a universal item. And I repeat, such an artifact will only work for you. Another person won't be able to use it because he is not attuned to it. While an item made by a master will be tuned to all people. The ancient legends about the different stones, the named weapons, the cauldrons, and the goblets describe these very artifacts that were created not only by humans but also by gods. They contain such information, such packages of information, that have not lost their power even after 1000 years. Whereas, the items created by humans tend to stop working after a while unless they are recharged. And that is where all of the difference between the two lies. You can make a good working amulet that will have a strong effect, but only for a certain period of time because you don't have a constant source of power. But the gods do have such a constant source of power. And the masters through whom they work can also connect to that source and have constant access to it. So here it all depends on your intention and the power that you put into the talisman. However, this is the subject of our work in the runes department. There I will tell you about it in more detail.